Big in Tokyo, I wanna be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo, I wanna be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo, I wanna be big in Tokyo. Big in Tokyo, I wanna be big in Tokyo. What it do? Hello. Hello. Let me just check a few thingy things. My back is killing me. See, it didn't tell the Discord, but I'm scared if I like alert the Discord. I don't know. What can you do? I gotta let him know. I gotta let him know. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. Right, oh, right when I was about to do it. Never mind. Let me delete this. Okay. I thought it was One Piece. I'm glad to see it's Gabera. Oh, no. I did One Piece last night, actually, if you don't know. Um, after the Reborn stream, One Piece came out while we were still talking about Reborn. So we, ju I just, after we were done with Reborn, I live reacted. Chapter was mid. We talked about it for 10 minutes. And we moved on with our lives and our days because... Yeah, you have to go to, like, the end of, like, the second, like, I streamed for, like, over six hours, but there was one point, like, two, like, maybe two hours and 20 minutes into, like, the first time I was streaming, uh, my OBS crashed, so I turned my computer and turned it back off, so the four-hour one, go to the end, if you care, but, um, we're not here for mid-piece, it's just trash, we're here to talk about Kubera, I don't particularly have anything specific to speak about, I just know that I haven't streamed about Kubera in a while, I think the last time I came on here and really talked about it was before the Anata arc ended actually, that's a discussion I still want to have, it just, I need Vince and Miles and them to be around so we can have a discussion, and I work, with this series I work better when I can bounce off other people and other ideas because... As much as I understand the main things, the minutiae is lost on me because I haven't revisited that often yet. As I get more acclimated and I am like rereading it more often and stuff like that, I will know. I will know more, right? So, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of rely on being able to bounce off other people in order for that. But Abyss has been really good. I actually was like. I don't know why I even thought this because it's in like in hindsight I think it's stupid but I was worried because I thought Anada ended really strong and it was really good I'm like how are you gonna follow this up and I was just like I don't know why I even why why did that even like iota of doubt or whatever even creep into my mind there's no reason she never proven me wrong she never proven wrong she knows this what you got to do so no but um never yeah, exactly never doubt Kurigam never I that, that's on me. She be moving me, man. But uh, this Rel Tara stuff uh, being kind of fused with uh, Maru and everything, I I'm very intrigued because I wasn't, I really wasn't sure what Kurigan was going to do with Rel Tara. I had no idea what to expect. I thought Rel Tara was cool, but maybe because she wasn't supposed to kind of be in like present time, I thought she would just kind of just fall to the wayside, so to speak. But Kurigan's finding very interesting ways to do things with her. That whole. I want to talk a bit about the, uh, I hope I'm remembering as much as I can, but the, the, some of the stuff with Kaz, his brother, I think, has, ha, hey, hey, I don't know, double A A H A A S and, and Elise and like young Brillith being there and actually like really, really seeing Brillith's dad and stuff. And um, Jabril speaking about like, I guess, I, I guess it's, I don't know if it's a subset or a side, I don't know if it's something specific with her or it's a sub, a side effect of maybe learning or being proficient with silent magic where she's like afraid, I guess, to lose like feelings of care towards her daughter. But I actually kind of booked and I'm like, did Kubera actually teleport kind of and go there or did Cal and Vinka do that? I'm like, no, I think that was Lee's. I think she's the one who did that. So that was really dope. See, I thought she was going to be some be some far that died during travel the time traveling, but she's important. Yeah, like I thought maybe after that kind of like drop about the Taraka clan and stuff, but even that stuff about the Taraka clan and what they used to be. Um, she oh, shoot, I don't remember exactly how she phrased it. What she was talking about, um, the attributes you need to use to destroy them. And after we learned about the Crimson Sunshine of Dawn, I don't remember exactly what she said, but I I even think that stuff started to come started to come full circle because the Garuda and Taraka clan are a lot more connected. I'm not going to speak for you guys, speak for myself, than I initially realized. I just assumed they were just, you know, a Sura clan that existed, but the Garuda specifically in Taraka clan seemed to be, seemed to have a lot of um history. So that's interesting. Man, Kaz is just very sus. He knows too much. Yeah, like, child, the kid and child Kaz is giving me like, interest, is giving me interesting thoughts because I'm like, wait a minute. He's sitting there like the big big brother is literally like, "Hey, wait for the adults, yada yada yada," and he's like, "They abandoned us." He's like, no, 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 like, mom abandoned. Like, like it's it's kind of the emotional disconnect from the way he was saying that, like we, like Lee's, your mom abandoned you to die. Like, that's what mom's mothers be doing. I was like, what has he been through? I never even considered 
some of the trials and tribulations of, of, of like, I guess, adolescence and childhood that Kaz could have possibly gone through. She, she's so good, bro. She's so good. But him saying this, it's a bear, and it was some freaky-looking thing you've never seen. Like, that's not a bear, bro. What are you talking about? It's not a bear. <laughs> Acting way too much like a silent magician. Even yeah, that's that's actually a good point. Like maybe that's I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's, that's part of it, but it was really cool to see the um the summoning of Kubera, uh like the god of Earth. I actually want to pull up some of the panels here because I think the panels are cool. I like how he comes when he's initially shocked and they even poured it out because like he has a very composed demeanor most more often than not. And there's that moment he's like, "Did you summon me?" And she's like, "Yes." It's like you, you, you effing lying brat. Let me see if I can find it here. Okay, I don't know. If, okay, well, I don't know if I have the other one. I have, to, I have to look on on YouTube for it. But there's this one, right? Where it's like, are you Kubera, the god? She fucking summons him, and at first he's kind of like, what the hell? But this, this is the, this is the face that kills me. This is the one. This is the one. <laughs> he's like, huh? He's like, you summoned me. You little chicky bird, like, and it's just interesting because it's like the very beginning portions of Kubera, in terms of the things we didn't necessarily know, it seems to be coming, coming around to explain how, like, why things started off the way they were because we tend to explore the past and then he regained his composure and this was the, the panel where he's like, all right, I'm normal again. Whereas um, it's like we're learning the reasons for why things were such disarray as, as, as early as things started because it looks like Ran is going to be around the time or is, is traveling the direction of around the time Lee's village is supposed to be destroyed by Maruna and stuff. And I'm like, this is so sick. We got to talk about Ran and Kalavinka a little bit too. That was really dope. But it's like, did she summon him or did she summon him? I know what you mean. Like, I know what you're saying. Like, it's like, what like, what for sure is going on there? I think us knowing that Tarakas were the second strongest uh, Garuda that existed along before Maruna confirms Utah might be hella old. I think that was um always a thought that was kind of, it was implied. But I think, I think you're right. We're like, maybe it's a little more explicit now. But I think that was always implied to some degree. I could be wrong, but. You, you you definitely get that inclination a little bit. I don't see this even. I don't know, whatever. Um so yeah, Ran um running into uh, Maruna's sister was really, really, really interesting. I really like that part. Um I trying to remember exactly how it starts, but it's interesting first because he's actually not a s like a actual Sura. He's a half. But she's like She's not buying it, Sura speak. The level of strength he had. Did you come here to destroy this village? I'm like Ran did it? That's right. That's all very intriguing. And then him learning like the the family listen to Maruna and stuff and he has to kinda like divulge information he doesn't want to to get. So whatever. What about Kellovinka's uh design? I personally love it. I like it. I like it. She has a good design. She looks really she looks she looks pretty cool. I even like her Sura form with some of the fire around her and stuff. I think she looks dope. I think I like I like her design. I'll be real with you though. I guess as far as like I, I guess female Garudas go, I think Raltaro looks a little cooler to me. I think Ra Raltaro looks cooler. Uh, call me stupid, but Kubera seems surprised that Lee summoned him. But sh shouldn't he have foreseen that? He did look surprised. I brought it up earlier. You can if you're not doing anything, you can hop in Miles. So I have some of the bounce off of if you want. Oh, I, I'm not even in Discord. If you want to, you don't have to. If you're busy, it's fine. Um, Ran is a quarter. Oh shoot, I'm sorry, quarter. My fault. You're right. He's a quarter. My bad. Um, hey, I just wanted to say that I finally started Kubera a few weeks ago. I'm at your Justice arc at the end of season two, but I'm going to have to leave to uh, avoid spoilers. I'm going to try to make it for the next Kubera stream, though. All right, I appreciate you. All right, yo, you're in a really good part because someone someone had recently asked me where they thought like these are these questions are always some sometimes somewhat hard for me to answer just because of my perception. Where someone's like, when does Kubera finally like get good? And I'm like. You're under the impression that I never thought it was good from the get go. Did, did I did I know there was like a moment my patience would reward me, and I would get the payoff, the long term payoff? That I would argue to some degree happens in the middle of season two. I think where you start to really connect some dots, some things start to go in the cycle and come back to its starting point. You're like, oh, and then a character, uh, level of intrigue elevating. 
a lot. So that's how I, know how I would explain it. But I always I always think Kubera was good. So like for, when someone's like, "Where does he get good?" I'm like, "Chapter one." <laughs> Something else. Uh, how goes it, man? Are you caught up, right? Or at least uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm caught up. I think I think the latest thing out is Abyss Twelve. Last time I checked, am I right on that? Because then maybe I'm behind and I could read a chapter a year. I don't think I think I. Uh, I think it's Abyss. Believe 12. I read it. Mm-hmm. Uh, looking at it right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's make sure. Oh, real quick, guys, explain explain the hiatus to me since you since you're here now. Apparently, she's on hiatus. Now I know we're like twenty chapters behind in terms of like what we get and what she actually has up, but like, yeah, I want to know if we um. How's that working? What chapters? Is, is it during the abyss? Because I heard she has some special chapters that have been coming out. I'm not entirely sure. I just want to make sure I'm like prepared for that because when 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 Ashu first said it, I was worried. I'm like, Kubera and Tower got on hiatus. I but I have to crack the whip of myself for this content, bro. Like, oh no! But so yeah, what's up? What's up? At least getting her village nuke doesn't grab your attention. I don't know what will top tier comedy. There's that too. Yes, it was pretty funny and vibe from the get go. And I'm like, okay, now I need to know this. Abyss ended three weeks ago, I think. Okay. Um, the Abyss arc is over. Curry is putting out side stories instead every week. Okay, then that's fine. Then we still have content. I just wanted to make sure we had content. But um, how have you been feeling about Abyss so far, Miles? Starting off with like Duran and Ke- Kellen Vinka stuff and then seeing like Young Lee's Brillith and um, well, I guess before that, there's Brillith's dad and Jabril and Lila and and, and uh, Jabril having their little one-on-one. That was interesting. Um, there's Raul Tara and, um, and the Maru fusion. Like, what's going on? Like, what are your thoughts? What are you thinking? Uh... You know, I'm always a moron when it comes to first reads of anything. So a lot of the stuff I'm just trying to kind of take in and make sure I'm not missing like small details that are obvious. Uh, mm-hmm. I like it. Uh, I'm not, I I actually really appreciate that. Like she's used this time traveling saga, mm-hmm. just actually visit every single important like point in time that we've heard about in season one. Yes, exactly. And now actually finally reaching Brilla's mom. When I saw her first, like was it Abyssal one? I was like. Oh no, not her. Like, <laughs> I'm surprised. At first, the Lila stuff confused me because I don't know why. I, I I feel like maybe I just forgot that. I forgot like she was a quarter. I thought oh. she was like in the younger generation. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh no, she was Brillith's mom's like best friend back in the day. She wasn't with Brillith. Yeah, she was close. I was surprised by how strong Lila was. I'm kind of honestly. Not. Kind of not, but they, I think with me, I was like, is it really Lila? But when I really think about Lila, we, she's usually not fully drawn. Like, very rarely do you just see Lila from top to bottom very clearly, naturally. I'm sure there's probably an in-story reason for that. Because think about how many times you've really seen Lila's true face, like, for real, for real. She's always got mm-hmm. mask. She's always kind of shaded. You might see her from an angle, the side or something. Like, you don't really usually see her full body so i was like is it really lila i don't believe you because you're supposed to be the same I, I, <laughs> I, I was kind of like on that thing i was like is this like it was like a weird thing i was like is this lila's mentor because i can't remember the thing uh because everybody has like that mentor like i feel like mother or father that had like some relationship with a god mm-hmm. and i can't remember lila did have lila's mentor was killed by chandra right i think I was think- that his was it mentor or mother I think I want to. I do want to say mother and mentor, or some, or like like maybe it was an overlap. Maybe the same way with Jibril and um, Brilith. I do want to say that. I'm not. I could be wrong. Chat, just correct me. Correct us on that if we're if we're wrong on that. But I think it was wasn't it because Chandra didn't care about how much life force he was draining or vigor he was draining, and that was the cause of the summoner's death. I could be Something wrong. Like I, that, I could yeah. be misremembering that. It's been a while. Jibril yeah, summoning so Kubera like- instead of Agni was shocking to me. I didn't even know. Why I had assumed that she summoned Agni? I just so did I. I just assumed too. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I was, I was just gonna say. That's why I think when I first saw the shadowy figure, I thought it was Lila's mother, and then for not. Oh. So okay. I was like, I was, I was like, there's no way Lila's gonna do this to her, right? Mm-hmm. And then I just thought back to like what Lila even did to Arcubera Lee's, and I'm like, eh, nah, that's actually kind of believable. Mm-hmm. It was her uh, mentor, Chandra. You have too much power, and 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 use that for lifespan. Okay, there you go. Jibril yeah. being a possible Shubera, a Kubera shook me. Yeah, I didn't see that coming at all. 
That was that was Damn. shocking. I think Lala's strength is because of Chandra's item. Maru commented on it too. There's that. That's, that's, that's a good point. I found a summoning weird. Though can you summon a god that's already been summoned? I think that's a good question. But it's like, I wonder. Do you think it's because of Elise's natural, or like triple Earth attributes? Do you think there's like a hierarchy? Like, nah, like. <laughs> Maybe I, mean, I don't know. It's it's hard to say because I don't have so much information. If it if it don't got CBL in it, it ain't for me. I'm laughing because I know Glam. Well, yeah. I, I know Glam will, will like the series. <laughs> He's gonna like it. Well, go ahead. Uh yeah. It is weird because I always assumed you needed to have the element to summon the god. Yeah. Right. So maybe you could bear it because the name part is there. Mm-hmm. That's why she can do it. Because Kubera's the name thing's still weird of like the full connection he has with his uh, people who has his name compared to the other gods. Yeah. I feel Kubera may have been helping Jibra but wasn't directly summoned, possibly. Oh, wait. Yeah, there was that weird thing about like gods hiding their like true appearance and stuff to throw people off when they're. Cause they were talking about the winners and losers of the universe and stuff too, right? So there, maybe there's some of that that's playing into it. So maybe he wasn't like properly, really, truly summoned. Yes, the cheerleaders. Yes, what they call them, right? And then it's like, then, then, then when Lisa's like, when Kaz is like, your mom left you abandoned. <laughs> she's like, no, no, she wouldn't. And she summoned yeah. the god of. I, I gotta tell you, man. These last couple of chapters have re-elevated Kaz's intrigue for me. I really, like, kind of lost the... I knew he wouldn't be unimportant, but I was like, what... the way that they met up, while I liked it, it was kind of weird to me. It wasn't, like, how I thought how it would play out, so I kind of just kind of, like, pushed Kaz to the wayside. By the way, though, with the Eye of Perishment against Maruna was dope when he, still, when he swindled him. But the way he's talking, as, like, a child, like, so almost emotionally disconnected from the fact his mother's ab- abandoned him and his big brother. The way he was speaking, I'm like, why does he sound so cold and indifferent? That's crazy to me. Like, I wonder if it's the chaos attributes that makes him like that. You think You think some attributes kind of maybe... Oh, I never even thought... That. Maybe. Because hmm. chaos is weird. Because chaos is like the... Uh, is it the absence... It's because it's, it's, that's what it cast is a weird one. Mm. I think there are multiple methods to summon a god. Okay, you do seem to need the triple attributes normally. In the and in the enemy timeline, after Aguan and, and Natasha died, there was no one left who could summon Agni. That's a good point. So was Kali always Taraka, or did she take some of the name of, Th- of Taraka later? Also, Jabril didn't summon Kubera. He was there hidden. Okay, yeah, I think I think that's true. I think he's around right about that one. It seems yeah. there is a normal way to summon the gods. You should apple juice and a cheerleader method. Okay, you think and uh, Scope agrees with you with the maybe uh, the chaos thing. Okay, so that makes sense. Okay, yeah, no, no yeah, Kali Kali took the Taraka name. I, it was like somewhat in season two they mentioned. <laughs> She, when we got introduced to what names are, we knew she took a name of a Nastica. So that the Nastica that we now have full confirmation of was Daraka. Mm. Now, a really interesting moment. Well, a couple, I want to talk about the Rand stuff a little bit too. First of all, like how how's everybody been kind of enjoying Rand's journey? I mean, I actually want to say something. I guess two things. One, one, one small jab at SIU. Sorry, this is the better Rand. Second. <laughs> um, I just, if you had, if you had told me when I was reading Kubera that the type of um, character journey Ran was going on would be this intriguing, this interesting, and this dope, and if, especially in conjunction with Maruna and them kind of going in the opposite directions, I would have never fucking believed you. I'm like, this nigga is here for com- for comic relief. He's the funny guy. And I would, I did, I would not have believed you. I cannot believe how far he's come, bro. <laughs> he's so intriguing to follow because there's a point where I like I don't know if you call him Lutz or Lutz his, his, his brother I liked him more initially because he was just naturally pragmatic there's something about pragmatic people who are pragmatic that resonates with me do I do think you could lean too far into it like I always tell you I couldn't get along with Chandra because at the end of the day I'm still human I know I'm I'm one of those people I think I'm a machine and a robot I'm just logic and reason but I'm not I'm still human <clears throat> Lila says Jibril summoned a god in the same way as 
uh, Aline and Rand's aunt, who we saw with a disguised Brahma and Claude's flashback. So they might have used the same cheerleader method to summon the gods outside their own attributes. So, do, but do the do the cheerleader god version? They're, they're they're weaker, right? Are they not weaker? I don't remember if they if they mentioned how like if they get summoned at full strength that way. But both their journeys have been phenom phenomenal. Yeah, like. I, I've always, I, I mean, I, I've always said this, and I said this recently, and, and everyone's different. People, some people care about lore, some people care about world building, some people care about like the central plot. Some people, like, I think central plots are important, but I tend to take uh, more intrigue in subplots personally. And there's characters, so characters are the thing I care about the most. So, uh, the fact that Kubera, I always say, has like ten out of ten characters that like limit break to like thirteen out of ten, <laughs> it's almost a treat. And Rand to me is one of those characters. And I really like, like, referencing his training and what he did al alongside him with, like, Yakstra and whatnot. So, like, you know how, like, he could not drain his lifespan when he's, like, near water and he could, like, use more power that way? When Kalen and Vinka, I think, I don't remember what happens, but they get pushed to the water and he, and he starts, he kind of gets kind of a little smiling. Like, All right, I could, I could fight without really burning my own life force. I love that moment. It was really good because it's just like that's how you train somebody. You show them how things work, and then when they're in the moment where they can use it, it's a good callback. That's how you do it. It's a very, very simplistic way to do it, but that's how that's how it's done. Slave in utero. <sighs> Ryan has always been interesting to take on the standard shonen protagonist type. For you, fair. Not gonna be here long, but Kalavinka is hot. My heart goes out to Rel Tower. I love both of Maroon, uh, uh, Maroon's and Rand's journeys have been on. I hear it. I like Kalav. What are your thoughts on Kalavinka? If you have any thoughts on her so far, Maruna's sister. I love her. Yeah, I love her. Actually, I all the Garudas are. It's it's like weird, kind of like how like they're like kind of like I feel like they were initially made out to be arguably probably the most vicious out of them, mm -hmm. honestly. But like I feel like they're the most like colorful. Or at least different and like unique out of like the uh, other species, honestly. Okay. I um. I found her interesting. Uh, I, I, like I, I like her. She's dope. Um, she's extra interesting because of the stuff with Vishnu. Her and Vishnu having conversations wherever the hell we are. And for the first time, we saw Vishnu's eyes, which are supposed to be like. A color. What do you, do you guys remember what 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 they said exactly? Like it's supposed to be like a color that humans cannot we cannot perceive or something of the sort. But Vishnu's eyes look kind of scary, dog. I was like, oh shoot. Do you guys trust Vishnu? Is it, am I the only one who's like, I don't know, I don't know about this guy? <laughs> it was just me. I used to not. I think this chapter to me, I think I I have far more trust in him because he seems like he knew like. Now, nah, like the future, like the vision you guys are gonna see, that's that's literally not me. Like, mm. so uh, I I I trust him a lot more now. Okay, we wait, we we sorry, where was I? Just needed to wear the collar. I'm uh, if I'm gonna be with her, don't judge me. <laughs> we see that uh, Ran has furry furry eyes when he stops brilliant in the present. It, is that permanent? Was he using his power? We are told with the eye of perishment, the effects can come back to the holder rather than the user. So we may see this happen. They were only shown because of the fighting. Vishnu was hard f to read. Um, pre cataclysm, I would have, I would, I would trust, but not post. Current Vishnu, no past Vishnu, maybe. I always used to think that Vishnu was always under righteous, even though his methods are cruel. And now that we know that he was going to change, now we know he was going to change its scenario. I want to put this picture up, by the way, just because I think it's important. I apologize. I just thought I dropped some frames for a second. I'm in my room. I'm not downstairs. Yeah, this is the panel. Scary, yo. Look at his eyes. Sick. Sick. I love it. Shout out this new... Um. Okay, so let's talk about the Eye of Perishment. Do you think that Aran is going to take the side effects for Kalavinka? Ah. Uh. I I but I guess I guess real quick, a couple things I have to clarify. I didn't know there was more than one. I don't know why I didn't. I thought it was the same one that gets kind of reused. I think they said there's seven. <laughs> 
if I remember correctly, I'm sorry. My, yeah. My memory is so trash, but I'm pretty sure they said there's seven in total and whatnot. And is the is the one that they both have the same one that Visnu gave like 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 that um Visnu gave Kalanavinka the same one that Ran has? Is that what is that did I read that right? Let me actually go back. I, mean, I guess I could I could just check. So literally can just check. But what I want to say with the eye of perishment is I really think the conditions to even like get someone to use it is so fucking cool. Cause you can't lie about it. You need to explain it so they fully understand what it is they're doing. I like that. I know we got a bit of that like kind of explanation earlier with the way that um I think Maruna was mad about Sempanti using it, but someone's like, No, like I told her how to use it. But it seems to be a built in rule. You can't just give it to someone random and be like, Oh no, like if you do this, you'll be super strong and you're like <laughs> in the back. But they're like get a bunch of effed up side effects. It's like, no, bro, you have to be honest about it. And I really like that. To the point where it's like, if you lie about it, the, the side effects come to you. Like, you will pay this, you will pay the suffering. I'm like, that's sick. I don't have any thoughts on that. I like it. I, I, I it's, so, it's such a, there's so many little things with this. It's just like, dude, I'm trying to remember it all. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, the, the Kelly Vinka thing is weird because she knows of it. So, like, I'm like, what can Ran lie about then at this point? Well, she seems to have not had it explained to her, though, right? It's, no, it's different from the one Ran had and Ko was taken by visiting the way the time. So, it begs the question, what's the one Ran has right now? Who gave it to him? Okay, 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 okay. But yeah, yeah, you can't you can't perceive Vishnu's eyes, which is really dope. I like that. That's probably why she always had it, had it covered. But um, yeah, let, let me let me excuse me, go down and find this. I hate that I can't just scroll down with the thing. But yeah, so he's there thinking about it. He pulls it out and says, "You know, have you heard of the Eye of Perishment? Eye of Perishment? He's like, Sarah's called them pledge tokens. Like, oh, those I know about them." Uh, why are you asking me about it all of a sudden? Uh, did I tell you that I have such an item? She's like, what? So she knows such. So you know that she has one. Visnu Nim. Uh, uh, wait. Didn't you? Wait, Han. Didn't you mention it? Cause you knew that Visnu Nim gave it to me. He said he picked it up about five hundred years ago. Five hundred years ago, f the past from this point. Then there's Mar there's Maruna, in the, like a in like ice. There's like Visnu with the weird cat, <laughs> the least cat, the one he took was given to her. What the? Then what is the one that I have? Is this supposed to be here with me right now? Why did I need? To, why did I ever, never question this? Um, could it be that you know how to use that item? Vishnu gave me such an item, gave me the item, but didn't teach me how to use it. So, I don't think she knows how to use it. But then again, she could be lying. I don't know if you think she is, but she could be not telling the truth. I think she has. I, I think she has a. I think she actually trusts Rand well. Mm -hmm. So I, I think she would be. Okay. Uh, Could also be that there was. A oh wait. Yeah. This is this is like a random like fact, but I just realized Rand's the only one that's actually interacted with all three siblings. Yes. There's actually a part in the chapter where Lee's is standing all and Kaz four, is around. Say. Yeah, Kaz is around. Like Kaz is around, and like there's like uh, Utah is actually in. Is I know we can't see, but Utah's supposed to be there too. So, well, that's, that's you're you're right with that. He's talk with he's messing around with everything. He's he is his journey is so interesting. I don't know, I just don't know how else to put it. Him and Maruna, I just I love it, man. I don't think that's the case, but it's an interesting thought. But um. Shoot, I had, I had a, I had something I wanted to say. I lost my train of thought. Oh, um, so when he comes and they're like how Ral Tara is the reason that the things are going awry and stuff, I I thought it was so intriguing because I'm like, just didn't think Ral Tara's level of importance would extend like this far or like or like this. I really thought she, she like like I think someone else in the chat said it earlier. I thought through the time traveling, timey wimey shenanigans, she would just kind of lose importance in some place. Yeah. If anything, yeah, because she's not supposed to. I guess because she's not supposed to be here at present time, so to speak. So I never thought she would really come all the way with us there. But the amount of things that we're going through before Ryan appears, like with the furry arms to stop our Brilith or whatever it was, I'm just I can't I cannot wait, man, because I want to see how this really really all connects. 
but the fact that a lot of this stuff is nearing the beginning of the series or like the start of the start of the things that we know some of the first events from like the like the first season it's starting to it's, i'm starting to get excited like i really want to know the main the real reasons behind certain things and like we're gonna really really get all that explained to us i am moved to myself so I'm, I'm i'm excited it always shocks me because i was i always remember and i thought that kubera would not be a good weekly read i remember thinking no matter what like this is a good series i love it but i think it's gonna be a struggle to read weekly it's not it's, it, it's the one it's like I did make three, I think, three videos on my vacation, but every time Kuber I knew Kubera was out, I sat down and I rather than reacted to it because I'm like, Kubera is the one. I do this for me, not for y'all. <laughs> I'm joking, but yeah. Uh, two things to be true at the same time. Do it for both of us. <sighs> and I actually thought that this would be hard. I'd be hard to follow up the Anata arc because the Anata arc was really good. It also spans a bunch of different things too from starting with like Anan and everything in the tournament and then... Kubera, Detective Kubera, and then was it um if I remember correctly, who was the fusion stuff of Kanara and um Kana Kanara, shoot who who did Kanara? Uh, Arivata. There you go, Arivata. Sorry, I was gonna say Kella Vinka when I was wrong. Like the the fusion of like them, and then actually getting to like um Garuda pulling up pulling up against Maruna. And Anata actually then now taking some actual literal agency in this in the story and stuff. Actually, hold on. Did Anata start with the snowflake apple without the arc before? Just out of curiosity, with um with with Usha's and 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 it was, a, it was the arc before. Okay, okay. So never mind that. Okay, just making sure. So yeah, then after it ending with like the shedding of time, I like to call it uh, Nata's lingering will. I like Kingdom Hearts, where it's like, did you think the instinct to survive is something unique to the week? I said, yo, <laughs> all this considered, having we read Reborn, it's this, it's just like low key the opposite of what Hibari said. Remember the the, the little animal yeah. line? Yo, hold on, <laughs> hold on, yo, dude. this shit is so gas, man. It's so good. Detect time detective Kubera's on the case. Tips yeah, you tip the um tip the um detective hat, Kinara and Ervata. Lash trying to take the summoning Cash with a summoning book was sus. You think so? Are you guys suspicious of Cass? Are you suspicious of him? Uh I don't not know. even for like, I, like I'm, I'm as, as in like, oh he's bad, but like he has his own kind of goals and motivations that are not aligned with like maybe Kubera or Lee or whatever. I'm not gonna lie, I just don't really like care for Cass. So, like I just I'd be tuning in the mouth sometimes. We're not gonna hold you. Like, okay. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I'm like. It's so hard because like Harrigan's really good at like having people like keep to themselves about what they truly want, and based off his thing with his mom, who knows how he really feels and what he may want to do. But like, it's just future cast. I don't know. There's just something about him like. I don't see him wanting to do much, so I would say no. Mm. But I think they're they're saying it because he seemed like pretty adamant about taking the summoning book. Really I guess, quick, I guess some people want to know why. Yeah, like who bears summoning book, and like I think it somewhat ties into like when they have that other like conversation when they actually finally meet after all these years, and it goes weird. And he, I think he said something like it was better off if she like died or something like that or was dead. Like why? Would yeah, it was Kubera. Yeah, like why? Like there's more to him. So like when they say sus as a suspect, I I I see where they're coming from. I see where they're coming from. That makes sense to me. I don't know what he wants though. That's a thing though, because I don't think he's a bad guy, so to speak, or a bad person with like unrighteous, yeah, I devious agree, devious mo motivations, but. I don't know. We'll have to see. And he is fun too. And he tore the page with the spell. We didn't he? Yeah, like there's that too. Like, did he keep that page? Did he give it back? I don't even remember. It could just be that he, it it could just be he jealously. He's always indifferent with Lee's. It's it's, it's possible. You yeah, can't put it past. I don't think he's indifferent to Lee's. I don't think he's indifferent to Lee's. Best I, friends? Yeah, I took like she should have died as in like her life is gonna be such a living hell. Like death would have just been better off. Yeah, like, 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 oh, like, don't like. It's kind of like the idea of like, you don't want to. I don't want to bring a child into the world that's suffering. It's a bad world. Like, you like, like, you're gonna suffer your whole life. Like, is it worth it? But 
Yeah. I ultimately always say you have to leave that to the decision of the person. Let them, let them decide that. Because some people may have gone through a lot of trials and tribulations to some point, and maybe at some point they break through and they're just grateful to be alive. You never know. Things can change. Maybe she does get the happy ending. I don't think she is. I think Curry Gum is going to break my heart. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Are we, are we team, team Asha? Fuck <laughs> okay. no. I, you, like, Asha, like, not being, like, as involved is shocking to it. me. In the I sense, in the, no, 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 no. In the sense that the story is still incredibly interesting and intriguing without her around. And Facts. at one point, I was wondering to myself if Asha was kind of like the, like I hate this comparison to some degree because I think it's so lazy because they only have surface level overlap and commonality. But the Rachel of the series, in a sense that I think if you take Rachel out of Tower of God, that series is not good. She, mm. Ra- Rachel's in, Rachel's importance to Tower of God to me is integral to its success. With Asha, I like still I still like because she season two is such a big part of her like coming out story and stuff like that but I don't know if the story would really suck like I think Curry Gum's talented enough that like say Asha wasn't a, didn't exist or didn't exist in the way she did I still think Kubera is just as good or a phenomenal story that's my point my main point I agree I'm glad because Asha can go kick rocks and die you run the wrong side of history for this one but it's okay I'm burning and burning hell <laughs> by herself <laughs> I hope Yama tortures her soul for eternity yeah. <laughs> Kaz is time traveling the- crack block three by Exalted is resurfacing. Oh, Team Lee's. Curry Gun got the f- the fan <sighs> tears cup. But if Lee's were to die all of a sudden, would Kubera still be Kubera? Well, she, that's must have made Kubera. What do you mean? I guess, I think. We got to be careful when we say Kubera because sometimes I don't know who we're talking about. No, it's, it's a good point. But I think, I think we said we Lee's. Would Kubera, the webtoon, be Kubera? So. Oh, uh, I thought you were talking about the guy. No. But you're right because it's like. Like, like technically, you could be talking about Lila. You could be talking about the God of mm-hmm. Earth. You could talk about any of them halves mm-hmm. that, that packed up got packed up by Asha. Like, it reminds me of the Team Four Star thing when like he's like, I think Vegeta, uh, Vegeta's like being ki- uh, killed. He's like, or like assassinated. He's like, talking about me, my son, or the planet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, King Vegeta, friends Vegeta, I'm flying Vegeta. I think that's a good point. That's funny. Maybe Kaz is more Claude sus. Okay, that makes sense to me. But Claude, you think Claude's a bad guy? I don't. I don't know. Claude sus is kind of bad because he like. He, he be Claude around. sus is like. He's willing to like. He's willing to have sacrifices. He's willing to like let people die. Like. It is his. I like. I feel like Kaz is sus would have certain limits of like what he like how far he'd be willing to go. Mm-hmm. Do you want to? Do, I wonder if it's like similar. I guess Isu, like Isu, is like smart, but he won't go too far. And like Aguero would like plunge yeah. his hands in, a, in some blood and some dirt, maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Saw me once that was like, "Oh, you like Kubera? Name five characters." Kubera, that's on me. I set the bar too low. <laughs> that's good. Kubera, 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 Kubera. Top five. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I need that. I need that. That's a good. That's a good one. I want that picture. That's funny. I've been actually like I. I don't know if I can attribute this to just me following and having more Kubera followers, but I see a lot of a lot of dope a lot of more uh dope Kubera fan art uh these days that I didn't used to see a lot of. I didn't even think people used to draw Kubera fan art. I'm just, like sure somewhere like deep in the Korean <laughs> trenches, but I see a lot more dope. I have so much cool pictures of Maruna in his fifth in his fifth form. I love it. Fifth stage. Oh, his fifth. Oh. He looks so. I think he I looks better actually. He looks. I think he looks better too. Yeah, like I think Bruno has a great design, cool. but I think he looks better in his fifth for, for stage. He looks really sick. He looks so sick. The ponytail that, is moving. Like him, him and adult Yaksha are just yeah. Chef's kiss. Yeah. They're just really good designs. Oh my gosh. I agree. Karina killed it with the white hair. I'm not gonna lie. Like she's moving me. I, I, you know, Lila, like Lila, Lila, Lila go crazy. Well, that was so beautiful. I, I, I gotta. I just want to see the full like yes. full image, no wearing shit. Like, oh, naked? I'm kidding. No, but I know what you mean. I know, no, I know, no, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, I mean question mark. Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, I wasn't kidding, but you know what I'm saying. Um, well, I have to be real careful while retweeting these fan arts in case of spoilers. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because some of you guys are like 20 chapters ahead, so I know. Because I remember the only spoiler that I can directly remember and remember, like, I say remember remembering. If let's say like someone was talking to me about my hero and I was I was around but I wasn't paying attention, I won't remember that you spoiled me technically. You know what I'm saying? The only one that I recall mm-hmm. was the Usha stuff. I had seen pictures of um how she looked like um with like Indra at least five weeks before I saw her in um webtoon like that. So that's the only one I could think gotcha. of. Gotcha. Is this is this a hot is this a I have a question, is this a crazy take? I think Arivats is prettier than Lila. No. I don't know if that's crazy. I just... I don't know if it's because they hide Lila. <laughs> so I'm like... It's like... The art of the unknown playing it. But like... I think that a lot of the character, the character women in the series look really good. Like, I'm, you know me. I'm a yeah. real with guy. But Lila, I think, probably is one of the best ones. But Usha's looks really good, too. It's like, she's really pretty. So... Was, they, they said, which area of Vata, though? <laughs> Either one. Okay. I, I think... I think probably the colder looking one's probably prettier okay but uh i, I like the nicer one because of her personality so either one my lunch is over hope you have a great stream guys all right you take care i don't even think it's not gonna go crazy long i've been streaming for like five six hours these this whole week so yeah my back hurt but i just know i just know we need first of all we still need to have this this, this or not the discussion are you still down to have it not in today but so yeah, uh yeah i still have like my notes for it way back. Okay, that's good. So I'll get me and Vince. I'll, my, even if he recorded it off stream or on stream, it's fine. But we gotta get, we gotta get that done. I wanted, I want to do it because I that arc really moved me, especially the end. And and it just crazy to me how all over the place we are, in terms of like how it started and where it ended up. I'm like, we started with this purple hair dude, <laughs> wanting revenge yeah. on the king, and look where I ended up. Like it's just so crazy to me. Old area Vata, maybe not current though. Kubera, Kubera, Brilith, you know. Ash, uh, Asha, damn. I forgot Lorraine's uh, partner. You talking about um Saha? You was done so dirty. I'll never, forg- I'll never forgive Asha, for, uh, not Asha, Lorraine. Lorraine's fault. Nah. <laughs> not Lorraine's nah, fault. Nah, right. <laughs> no, Lorraine's fault. It's Lorraine. Who killed him? Who killed him? Lorraine killed her. <laughs> well, okay. Killed him. <laughs> Saha deserved better, bro. Did that bozo? Ugh. No, I hear you though. Like I hear you. What? That shit was so funny because I was like, "Wow." Uh, I'll never forgive Lorraine either. Her trying to drive it to Asha later was not moving me. That did not move me. But it is really dope that the condition for her, like, like her win condition was to make sure that Lorraine got packed up and the fact that she didn't actually do the job properly. I think she had, was it like an injury resistant something that helped her survive? I can't remember what it was, but, or lightning resistant, you know what I mean, you know what I mean but that wasn't, that wasn't, a, that wasn't, that wasn't a moment of redemption. Someone, someone needs to just throw her in the ocean and attach an anchor to her leg. Don't like her. Gone Havre either. I don't like him. Oh, God, I don't like that nigga. Bro, whatever. <laughs> whatever. You don't like fish. We get it. <laughs> At, what? What? Asha? She wrote. I remember back in season two when it was ongoing. People were complaining that there hadn't been any deaths in what was um an uh an obscenely uh war arc. The next chapter of Asha Sass- got fucked up. Also, Ash was overconfident. There's that too. Maybe because she had so much um f- um foreknowledge. I mean, it could. It, I mean, we could po- uh, point blame to Claude because he wouldn't let Ash and near Lila. You think so? Is that is that his fault though for protecting Lila? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't. Know, I don't know if that's a right. Like I hear what you're thing. saying, but I don't like. I don't want to say blame is not the word I want to use. I guess. Yeah, it's more uh, like an indirect a catalyst that caused reason. that caused her to force herself yeah. to, have to go for Sastra. Kind of, kind of one of those things. That's kind of that's how, that's how I see it at least. Yeah, you got to be careful with the verbiage of that. You, the only person I know that likes Clary, she's funny. <laughs> don't, don't. We're not doing this. <laughs> no. 
don't Stop. Even, I don't even like I'm, it. I'm sick of y'all bringing this girl's <laughs> name in here. <laughs> We're not doing this ever. <laughs> Do ever bring this bitch's uh, name. Clary is so funny. There's just, there's just certain characters in these series that I genuinely, like, there's always just one where I'm like, I just don't want to even, like, conversate about, like, Clary's one. That's fair. <laughs> That character started of the video was funny. That was good. Uh, she she showed me how uh, she showed Ashley how determined he was to protect Lila, and it turned it to Saha into the best option after Lee's. No, I hear you. I get it, but it makes sense since Brahma said the ancient humans threw themselves into the universe of the losers. That's still, the ancient humans are still so around them. You'll never forget that like whole like reveal and stuff. I'm like, I like, I love this concept. It's, it's so interesting to me. Just the const, the constant kind of cycle of rebirth. I love it. And what was the rite of passage things called again? When you get when you get your memories from your past life, Do you remember? But what, what's it called actually? What's the actual jargon? I don't remember what it was called. I, forget, but, I, I actually forget. But it was, but that, but that was that. That was really a really cool concept too. And then I, I, I like this one point where like Maruna's like explaining stuff. <laughs> coming of age ceremony. There we go. Coming of age. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's so good. It's so good. I, 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 I. The only thing, the only thing about this series that worries me, especially if you're a week, like as a weekly reader, is. If you if you really care about certain characters and you just don't see them for so long, I wonder how that affects someone's enjoyment. Like I'm cool enough and logical enough, and I like storytelling enough that I like even if you don't focus on a character I like to that degree, still can understand its important stuff. Like how does how does like a true blue diehard like Lee's fan feel right now, or like or like Utah kind of like they're not really around. I mean, I'm okay with it. Okay. It's kind of one of those things for me where it's like I don't have to see her suffer, so like I win. Okay, I'm winning. I'm winning partially. Cause... Somehow, some way, I'll find a way to win. Okay, because <laughs> I, I think about like Utah's involvement throughout the second season and the drop off that he's had. Not that he's not important or not vital. We won't circle back, but he's just not around as much. And as a result of that, he's just not as important to me. Not that he was a character right. that I loved to that degree, I guess. I don't even remember. I may, I may, he may have been in my top 10, but it's just like, I don't really think about Utah, Utah like that. It's just like, eh, when he comes around, he comes around. Because sometimes mm-hmm. I read the Web2 comment section when I go to like like, when I go to like it. And I remember at one mm-hmm. point, this, especially this, this is especially before, I think, um, you know when Maruna was told he's being too calculating and he's finally able to see Jitayu and he gets, and he gets that send off and as the universe is ending, like time Lee's appears? Prior to that, yeah. a lot of the comments were always like, where's Lee's? Or someone, or someone was like keeping track like week th- 264 of no, of no, of not seeing the main character. And I'm like, are they like, is it, are they, are they memeing? Are they trolling? Are some of them accept, are upset? They- is it, is two, can two things be true at the same time? It's like a little bit of both. They do that with every fucking webtoon, though. It's it's kind of like annoying at a certain point, like because mm-hmm. it's just every week the top comments just, mm-hmm. "Where's Jin Mori? Where's Ethan? Where's Dumpling Boy?" Like they always just do. It's like, bro, relax. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's other characters in the story. Chill. You'll be all right. Like, <laughs> but this is also yeah. like one of those series. Like, unfortunately, like. Like, everybody that I speak to about it, like, shout out to everybody in the chat, in my comic section, in the Discord and stuff, they care about Kubera. And they know what they're mm-hmm. talking about. A lot of those readers, I'm like, this series is so, it's way too intellectual for, <laughs> for a lot of you. I'm, so, I'm saying it. I'm going there. I don't care how anyone feels about it. Like, you are too dumb <laughs> to fully appreciate this series, sitting over there crying about a character like that. Not that I, you know, I understand, but. Because even me, I still need to get my, like, the contents and this very specific minutia, like, kind of stuck in my head the way that I know it about other series. But it's going to, I need to revisit it a little bit more. I'm not the person who reads it once and retains everything. I have to reread it, like, a million times and constantly parse Mm -hmm. information uh, for research for stuff. Because what I want to start doing once Tower of God is, is, like, officially, like, the last chapter comes out, is I want to start working on some Kubera stuff, like, Intent like intensely, so I gotta get the knowledge up. Um, yeah, it has to be a meme. Okay, imagine the day SLU sidelight band webtoon. The comments actually will be new. 
Uh, that damn Bam needs to be sidelined to let to let it work. Facts. Yeah, I interacted with a few dumb ones. Where have you been, Ashu? I thought almost like who will die. I worry about Ly- Lila. You think so? I I I I don't do this often with this series just because I I don't I don't have the wherewithal to do it. But like, yo, you, you think you could you could like make a prediction for the next chapter? <laughs> do I? Just, just a general prediction, like hmm. Absolutely not. Yeah, I'm the same. Absolutely. Lena. There's there was no way. <laughs> <laughs> if this was the other series, maybe this nah. I'll, I'll resign myself to just saying I don't know. Yep. Sometimes that's the right answer and it's okay to just not know. This girl won't send won't send me for some reason. Oh. Yeah, you're you're a little late, but welcome. Better late than never. Is I I'm 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 trying to I'm also thinking uh. about some of my go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say when you're doing Kubera, is it or sorry, when you're doing, oh my god when you're doing the Anata arc with also Kubera, uh or no he's not, I'm sorry, I'm tripping. Uh but when we're doing the Anata it's just the Anata arc, right? Yeah. Okay. Cause I have some timeline questions about the timeline. Is it is it timeline arc? Or the, the arc the seven chapter arc right before that? Mm-hmm. Let me just ask him now. You could, no, I mean that's fine. You could ask it. I don't. You could ask it during the during it. Like just because we're talking about the Anata arc doesn't mean we can't seep into. Other I got. It. They're like ten. They're like ten strong, like big questions. That's, oh, that's fine. I mean, go ahead. Okay. Ask two. Okay. Uh, let me look at this. Uh. Okay. Uh. Yeah, this was more a question about how timelines exist in this world because. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maruna talks to Vayu in different dimensions, yet Vayu remembers the past of when he does it. So I was asking at which point are the, is the distinction between different timelines or universes? Because it seems like every universe has the same beginning. So are there divergence, does the divergence for timelines begin after the death of Anata, or is it something else? Shit, I don't know. Like, <laughs> like with like the... So like like maybe a bit word better like with the with the timelines right like uh we're in we're in a part of the story where they keep going to the fake futures that don't exist the right possible ones right possible they're possible unit yeah. yeah they say they're possible possible universes where their beginning is the exact same of Kubera ancient humans come so I'm asking is the divergence in which these exist after Anata's death. Is this only where all these separate timelines can now come to be, or, could or is it earlier than that? Or, or, or yeah, I okay, what you're saying. That's okay. That's interesting. I mean, I, I could. I'll actually be interested to look into some of that stuff. I might just look into it. Maybe you can just send me those somewhere else. Maybe I'll yeah, do it. See what feel I see what I can find. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of the also verbiage because I, I swear the verbiage is like kind is weird because I think at some points they use universes or dimensions, and at some points they use timelines. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of always that weird thing of like, is it the multiversal theory where you're saying like, e- each choice can create different universes, which this it seems like to be, or we're saying it's like Marvel where it's like, act like it was just like different universes with different, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so it's stuff like that. Because every series someone does it differently, where it's like some series too, if you rewrite something in the past or the future, it affects everything, and sometimes it just diverges to another timeline. That feature still happens. Yeah. So I guess it just depends on what route she wants to go with it. Um, my understanding to is when because 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 uh, the possibility of a universe isn't really something uh, is that a concept in the multiverse that I've really explored where it's like no this is, it just exists it's here because uh this there was this moment where I was I could have turned right left or went straight and in one universe I crash one universe I don't make it when I go left when I go straight when I go right when I Mm-hmm. take a plane i don't know right so like so all of those split in that moment creating slightly slightly different alterations but they exist they're not a possibility so it's always interesting yeah. to look at it that way but i haven't particularly thought about it too deeply but i am going to do it now i'm going to think about it so uh, see what chat's saying yeah. Could we're going to be so dope can't wait to get to it i can't wait till we do it on stream together but that's that's not happening until next year don't even look at me right now okay that next year 
next year like april <laughs> um that's a really heavy question i need to think about it i think the timelines can diverge at any point but the possible universe eventually run out of energy and collapse some are not accessible anymore i think it could be created at any time anyone uh through time travel shenanigans or even of course due to a future version i mean you can say the possibilities are infinite because the pa- because of the paper paper of um records keep expanding when they overflow also only one can exit and the rest we saw since they have all since they all have the dive the divergence point anything before that would be the same in in different universes so that explains why Vayu remembers meeting Maruna on the other timeline. Oh, there, there we go. That makes sense. Yeah, that, that's what I was. Okay, that's what I was asking. Yeah, trying to clarify. Met him in the diff- yeah, because he was in a different timeline, but they met in I, the past of the original divert in the original non-divergent timeline. I think so that's what I'm saying. There had to be a was, point was, was more, um, more. Anata, because there was a version of Anata that didn't immediately recognize that he already had spoken to Maruna in some capacity. Remember, remember, remember yes. That? So I think, I yes. think that's what calls it into question because you're like, but this guy is the one who can kind of hop and skip and go around all he wants too, right? So, but I don't think, yeah. I don't think there's any inconsistencies if anybody is worried about that. That wasn't the question. We were trying to clarify that's all. But I, but again, I had it intently, deeply thought about it to that degree sometimes. Some sometimes I'd be reading the chapters and be like, I I'm like I'm I'm lost, but I'm having a great time. <laughs> so yeah. Like, so I said lost in the sense that I'm like I don't know where we're going with this. Not that I don't comprehend what's happening. Right. Cause some cause I'm like I don't even know where we're going. I didn't even know we were gonna be here. I didn't know Jibril and Lila were gonna were gonna were gonna have a, some combat. You know, like didn't didn't see this coming. And seeing her standing there too, when I saw something, I'm like, oh shoot, Phyllis mom, let's go. Like, raw. Do you have any thoughts on her on the dad? By the way, Phyllis' dad. I thought he was kind of interesting. Fuck that nigga. What did he do? Try to kill uh, Brill. I mean, you know, he did his little. But he he seemed like he was the one that was like wanted to kill uh, Brillith off. I mean. No respect to really both of the parents of Brilla, if we're being honest. Yeah, both of them are kind of pretty horrible parents. Yeah. But uh, he's interesting. I it was one of those things like when he when he first, when we first saw him, I was like, dang, this is weird because we've never seen or even like really talked about him until this moment. And I've never thought about like who the dad was. Same. I think he was. No, I know. I'm pretty sure he was somewhat mentioned to some degree. But you're right. There was no real focus or emphasis on him in any capacity. So when he popped up, I'm like, oh yes, man and woman. Sex, child, true. <laughs> literally, like, literally, like, when I'm like, oh yeah, there's a dad. <laughs> uh, you can say that. Wait, someone. Um, hold on. Maybe one. Maybe because Anata is the one who needs to remember all the universes he's traveled. Others need to remember the one they are in, regardless of how much the past diverge. The version of Anata that met Maruna was a future version that was taking the place of the present Anata. That's why he didn't remember meeting Maruna and why he couldn't explain where he was during the attack on the planet. No, like, I understand how that works. My point was, the reason why I think the value question even comes up is because why did he recognize it and the actual literal kind of time traveler didn't? But I remember that you guys, you guys had already explained that to me on full detail before because there was the one who got the soul for for Aru, for Aruna and all that stuff so um he wants he was in a painting way back in the beginning of season 3 but he'll never fully discuss otherwise go ahead I was going to say do you write notes for yourself and when you write the notes at the time you write it in a way where it makes sense based off what you're doing when you go back you're like dang why did I just not write this out like a normal person Oh, I, I I actually have that problem in general with um my notes, my note taking. If I'm not very strict and specific and diligent about it, I'll go back to it. And I'm like, I don't even know why I wrote this. I don't know what this means. I don't know. I have no idea why I wrote. Remember, Brilleth Fire. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> so I'm looking at some of these notes. I'm like, I I I, under, I think I understand the general concept. I'm like, why did I just not write this out better? <laughs> yeah. No. She what the fuck. Uh, no, I feel you because, like, yeah, like, where was it? What was I looking at the other day? I'm like, what does this even mean? <laughs> um, shoot, hold on. I don't know what page it was on. But anyways, uh, but, but, but anyways, I was just like, yeah, no, I, I, I feel that. Like, and it's like, it's like, why, why did you bother taking the notes if you were gonna do it properly? And now you don't remember. You might as well just not taking them. So you just, feel like, yeah. So I just feel like doubly as stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, wait. Mm. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, so here's another, I guess, two-parter, okay? Mm-hmm. This is towards the end of that specific arc. Kubera calls Lee's truly a particular time. You say that again? Kubera calls Lee's truly a particular time. Mm-hmm. As if it's like a t- title, right? And this is at the point where we know kind of about like this is where we just learn about time, the snake thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering if the white leaves that we see that comes in at the end, that's the one that attacks the fourth stage Yuta, that's the body. If she's now considered at this point, this future leaves, she's now the current time priest guardian. And she's now taken that role. Oh, like the, the little temple palace cave yes digger. that's interesting i do think that the, and that's like, the why time, Herbie... time lees is like a futuristic kind of i don't know that's interesting or the resurrection of anato worked on her that's why she was also so powerful enough to just physically swat away fourth stage you to that mm-hmm. was wiping up everybody else do you think Cause wait, sorry, just sorry, just real quick. Just, I don't remember. Make sure I remember this correctly, because it was a big moment, but I don't remember it as well as I probably should. She has his name, right? He has his name. Yes. You think that's like so? Like, what? How does that play into things now? Is is really the question too? So, is it like? Because we used to put it reg- resurrection. I don't like like I don't know how specific certain things have to be. Like, if I just say that name, I don't know. It's, it's, it's I don't know. I don't know. Do you think the Anata really needs to exist in some form or even as a name for the universe to exist? He seems to be extremely integral. I see that. Oh, I, oh, are you asking me that's, if that's why Lee's I, has a name? That's, 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 that's interesting. It's. Well, there, 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 when did she get it? Sorry. There, Callie, there, there did Callie time give time. it to her or did she get it around that time for some reason? I think she. Or I think she was born with that name. Okay. I was, I was wondering what you were thinking about that. I, I, I said Nata is the lifeline. I think it's just like Callie just revealed it to us okay. more so than anything. Okay. But then, but even if that was the case, the name had to exist, there would still be that 500 year time gap from his mm-hmm. death to leave being born with that name. And, I'm, and I guess I'm wondering if the shedding of time, like what time period does that thing get defeated, if even, or whatever? Do you think that yeah. not existing too could somehow somehow keeping this stability the stability the stability stability of everything in check? I wonder. Hmm. Um, I like questions about sins, and I I don't know why I worded it like I'm four years old. What the fuck does this say? Ah, uh, <laughs> I'd be my I'd be my own ass if I could. <laughs> uh, does a lifeline so does he attract does he attract by where he is the energy or the alternate timelines too my guess is he be is that she became anata names and lifespans are tied to each other my theory is that she takes on anata's name at the end of her lifespan and lives on as anata that's what i think that 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 form of why she's considered now time okay and she was so strong because she beat yuta uh, at fourth stage easily just mm. with fit like she was just she just threw him around like no one was doing that and she seemed like super like old because at that point like she wasn't super aggressive with maruna when she saw him either because mm-hmm. that's when she asked the question completed her journey of the kubero story now and is revisiting the story with a different timeline trying to make sure things are better for lisa i think that makes sense yes that's that what I think, yeah. But so my question is kind of like, is she here to, may, to not to maybe not lead her to co- become this? Because like, <clears throat> one thing that's interesting about this series is this, is is like, <laughs> I think she tackles the concept of like different perspectives on things really well, especially amongst the varying races. Because the way we some we, we're gonna see certain things is um tied to how our lifespan. Because it's like, I'm old at fifty as a pure blood. But it's a quarter, I'm not. It's a half, I'm not. As a god, well, let's, I'm I'm literally a baby at fifty, not even like you know old or elderly or half half a century kind of thing, right? So mm-hmm. I still have to say this: Is Lee's always supposed to become that, and really her suffering is to basically do what Anata did? Because we know that in hindsight, in retrospect, that man yeah. was going through it, and this is like the tragic fate of her like final whatever the case is when she's not really existing or 
is it truly something worse? I think it, I think she's listening just to similar to him. Because his thing is like, so I, this kind of, this is like a question. Because like, it seems it's, I don't know if I'm trying to decipher myself. It seems like I was trying to say like, the bind, bystander effect uh, really it works for a Nata, right? Where him being a bystander alone makes some kick on sense, sense. right? Mm-hmm. But it doesn't seem to be the case for anybody else in the world. So I'm curious if he like is the sole individual that took on like the essence, or is the only one that can actually. The, it's the point. He wants to be the most Those powerful people being in the universe. universe. Do you think that's just, that's just yeah. the caveat that comes with such a responsibility? That's what I was gonna mm-hmm. ask. Yeah. I was like, is this a, was this a thing that was uh, given to him at it, or is this something that? he took on which allowed people like the Nastikas, gods and humans to be bystanders such as Maruna watching the ancient humans getting massacred did not affect him at all mm. okay that's, that's interesting it's, 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 a, it's interesting to ask that I'm a, I got so many thoughts but I'm always afraid to look dumb I think we always. I think we will also get some information on the previous universe. Might give some insight into God Kubera's actions and why he is a cheerleader. Is it indifference or is it something really influenced him that makes him want to root for the losers? Lise has shown that she respects the decision of her past self. Back when Kelly sent her back, so her getting time powers and keeping things as they happen makes sense to me. That's a good point. That's a good point. I think the responsibility comes with the name itself. I personally think she just reminds him a lot of Anata and why he acts despite his plans to help her. I wonder if um. So you don't necessarily think it's the that so the responsibility of having that name and quote unquote be I guess becoming the strongest in the universe is because you have the ability and power and wherewithal to stop bad things from happening. If you were to let it happen. It's, That's literally, on, it's yeah. literally the concept. It's like literally the concept. Of like, did you have? I don't know if you. Ever, I don't know if you ever had this like ad at some point, like growing up, where it's like, if you watch somebody getting bullied, you're a bystander and you're part of the problem. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like that type of like that type of thing. So, that's how I see it. Because like we could just you know stop it here, but like the response of that responsibility is honestly, is crazy. Hello? I would uh, even if I lost. even if it made me the strongest person in the universe. I'm like I don't want to do this shit <laughs> at all. Like I'm that's good. why it's curious. But I I could also see him being as a person that forcibly just took the sin himself as well. Based off his personality, it seems like he would also do that. So it's hard to tell. Mm-hmm. You do if think, it's something that he just had to get used to, or he did it. Do you think we're actually it. leaning into a pos- like a? What's the word I want? What's how I want to say this? Like a a way to understand how that truly fully works, in the sense that it's a there's a possibility that Rand takes on the punishment for the Eye of Perishment for Kellen Vinka. Don't know, mm-hmm. or not. and maybe through seeing how that affects him and what it does, we get a bit of an understanding of maybe the at a very low tier level of what Anato is going through with sins. I don't know. That it, it seems kind of like the main cast in some ways are taking on like the roles that like Anata did with like that's why that's why with the bystander said it's kind of weird to me where like when Maruna then takes on the sense himself and reaches fifth stage mm-hmm. is that Maruna being good or does Maruna owe that to Anata because Anata's taken it for them this entire time that they don't they cannot they're allowed to be bystanders. That's a good question, and that that would also then extend to like Rand and like his decisions on what he you wants said. Not to if do. I help the bully. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> repeat that. Uh, but uh, yeah, with just Mar- Maruna, like, is it is he is it owed to an Ada for Maruna to do what he did, or is it really a free will thing? That's a good question because in a lot of ways, he's he's the he's the reason that. Ar- Maruna, I guess, exists as he is. I know it's not Aruna anymore. By say- taking the soul and blah, blah, yada, yada. So it's almost like, <laughs> you owe me one. 
you know, yeah. Everyone gets one. <laughs> Spider Man. He swings. He swings away the Family Guy Spider Man. Everyone gets one. Um, I, I, I personally, I interpreted it like like you have inserted that thought into my mind now. When as I was reading it, I thought it was something he did of his own free will because I was trying to kind of, I was trying to figure out if Anata, even the like version of Anata that has the name that is like the version that we see that like the Sura right. Is he mm-hmm. actually just a special being in totality that the only way for sins to be contained is you almost have to get like five people to do the job of Anata. So the person who goes around doing stuff is Lee's and then maybe Ran and or, well, sorry, Maruna could take on some of the brunt of the sins because he's stronger in his fist stage. Like I was trying to figure out if it's one of those things where it's like near Near and Mellow cannot surpass L, but together they can. Right. I don't know. So. Uh, let's see. I think we can extend the sins. Con- if we can extend the sins contact, the fact that you were persuaded to take a name means the responsibility also falls on you, not the persuader, the one that gave you the name with the past owner of the name. Okay. Uh, for real, well, for <laughs> I would not complain. I personally think she just reminds me of Anata. I would not complain if she had a soul, though. But for real, is it? It it's true that it is some responsibility, but depends. And kids especially have the most, the worst peer pressure. Do you think Kalavinka has a, a, the Aruna name? A name now. Actress said they would keep the name. Ming Rakshas says Aruna and killing them if, if the name didn't fit. But Kalavinka is alive. Not. I never thought about that. I don't think. So. I don't think so. I never thought about that. But you know. But but no no. I'm an idiot. We don't know any of their real names technically, because Jatayu and Nor Yuta no, is no. really his real name. No, that's interesting. If Aruna, the name Aruna went to uh, Kellen Vinka, I think I like that. But but I do think for some reason Aruna will get his name back at some point. But I could. It would make sense on why she was allowed to technically live after Maruna, because all his siblings were supposed to be killed. Mm-hmm. So the name uh, Aruna would go back to him eventually. That could work. Just, to, just, just. It could work. Just split the responsibility. The universe was poorly made in the first place, and the Prometheans don't bother to find the solutions amongst ourselves. I never thought about it that way. You're moved. A Virgins Callie herself couldn't make uh, more deceptive moves. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I, I only really thought that because, like, oh, sorry. If, if, I'm, I'm like, there's someone else I was thinking about that I thought played a role in this too. Um, Rao. I said Ram, but I'm like, well, that's an R name, but Rao, because the way Rao was moving with the Nata and stuff too, yes. it's kind of like, like, like with the with with the with the Lee's with the Lee's bloodline and Maruna and stuff. It's like, it's not as effective, w- it's not as efficient, but you guys can do my job type of thing. Yes, because Rao was the priest of the Temple of Time at one point. Remember, mm. so it seems like, but his power just wasn't enough. And that's why I'm curious about if him and Anata created Lee's with the responsibility of like, I'm going to make you a human that could almost do it, but if we can give her my name, and then Kubert, who's also like, I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure Anata alive, is like, I'll give her my name to create these contingencies to make sure like she'll have the power and the ability to take on this role. Because it's always interesting to think about the fact that she technically has a name from everything, a human name, yeah. so to speak, a Sora name, and a name of a god. So is she like this weird naming ultimate hybrid fusion? Is she Ichigo? She's a full yes. bringer, human, visor, Rancar, hollow, Quincy? <laughs> That's why, especially because it's also weird because it's like you're also the only one that uh, in which your names, Vera, can be because of the competition, quote unquote, that Vayu made, even though we you know based off things like now. The Vayu that did this isn't the actual right Vayu. Is the one that created this competition that allows Kuberas to get stronger based off their names, which doesn't exist for any other person that has the name of gods. So now, believe, me believing that was Kali, I'm curious if Kali's playing this long game because it seemed like she wanted Kuberas' name Anata. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if she was like doing this thing as a means to like power Kubera up to like take it like when it's ripe. And gain the power for herself. That's I like that. I don't know, but I like that. 
where it's, it's almost like what what's the what am I, what am I thinking of like I'm a, I'm a, like eat up eat up keep eating like you kind of like end them plump so you want them when they're like at their best kind of thing or like fully flat yeah yeah I don't know. maybe maybe uh, I don't know if, spe- if certain names have like special I don't know that's not they do but I'm trying to think of like nah I'll save that I'll save that. That, that that sounded dumb to me. I'm thinking about it for a little longer. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> um, what did you guys say here? I mean, most permeables don't really want to take responsibility. It could work, but a scapegoat, why bother? Time leads. Mentioned Bruna having a different name that he didn't know too. That's a good point. I remember that. I think I remember that. I think uh, it seems that the Raxus has received names through a system they can't control. Otherwise, they can just not name anyone Aruna at all until they find a way to give the name back. Fanata said they killed all Yeah, it seems like a first come from a certain basis. Yeah, so why is she alive? Did they change their mind? Or she really has Aruna's name? Maybe her true name was stronger than Aruna? That's interesting. Or, no, or at least I don't, for I don't her. think so. I don't know. Maybe for her, maybe names have a level of resonance? I don't know. My Cause they, cause, that, yeah, because I mean, they, they have a record in all the names. Yeah. Because didn't Gan Havra somehow steal the name that he has? I don't know if he literally did it himself, but he, that wasn't supposed to be Gan Havra's name, wasn't it? it wasn't it? Uh, I the way I took remember it a line like was that. what's his name stole it? What's her name? I think it was uh, fuck. His wife stole it okay. and gave it to him. Okay, because she was supposed to be Gan Havra, but she chose to let it be uh, him rather than her. My theory is that Kalavinka has the Aruna name and Maruna has the Garuda name. When he called himself Garuda at the beginning of the universe, he may have superseded actual Garuda's authority over the name since at that point he was older than all the other beings. I fucking love that. I don't... But... Go ahead. I guess my question would be, but they knew who Garuda was mm. at that point. So he would have... Garuda- You're cutting out a bit. Uh, was a Garuda. Uh, Garuda existed already at that point, though. Like, they knew who he was, so he would have had to have been named in the first place for Maruna to use that name to get out of that sticky situation. Okay. Christine was a friend of Garuda and did take word for her, but why? I think he did have to, whatever. Baron Yama did some shitty stuff with Kinara's name too back when it was given to Anan's friend and she died. Hey, leave Yama alone. That's the best god. Everything he does is correct. Never been wrong a day in his life. I love Yama. This is the real Yama. The Yama that I could rep. <laughs> Uh, Kubera was actually the one to say Maruna could be Garuda to the other gods at the beginning of the universe. I don't remember that. I'll take your word for it, though. I, I, I believe in your memory more than I believe in mine. I'll tell you that much. Ask another one. This is fun. <laughs> Who, me? Yeah, one more. Uh, then I'm going to go. Let me see. I, I, I like one about Sens and then one about Callie's item. Uh, I don't know what I was trying to say. This was about the Taraka Sens. Mm-hmm. And I said something about Taraka Sens. Are, are Taraka, the Sens of Taraka's or Taraka Sens given form or sins fused with the old chaos attribute shura and then talk about the festering thing at the bottom of the shore realm for ages wait sorry one more time sorry. Uh, our taraka sins oh oh i should have had a comma okay our taraka's comma sins given form or sins fused with old chaos attribute Shura. Talk about this and then talk about the festering thing at the bottom of the uh, Shura realm for ages. But I guess we know now Tarakas were actually just the actual uh, one mm-hmm. species. Yeah. But I guess it would be the new age Tarakas, which could be the sins get a form. And then I guess I said something about like, the festering thing that was bottom of the Shura realm, which was, I think, where Yuta was mm-hmm. for a while. But that thing Yuta is. Mm-hmm. This was months ago. Uh, something like that. But uh, and then about the orb of perishment or eye of perishment that lets you develop it. Uh, 
is the curse that you take away Callie's sins for her so she's not accumulating more sins and that's why all the Raptors that die have terrible ends or do they become Taraka clan members but I think some of these questions already been answered so to some degree but that's in, but but they're interesting he still keep them around just in case but uh, or is she dead <laughs> I don't know, cause we did get some explanations for how the eye perishment works in terms of the punishment. It's something yeah, like, yeah, we did get the explanation. I remember that, but I was actually I th- well, as you were saying that, I was actually reminded of those weird ass things you've been seeing, Kel and Vinka and those people fight. What? And I know they're supposed to be losers and stuff, but do you think they're at, at all related to Sin or Tarakos, or do you think that's a completely separate thing? I have to see. I have to go back because I think the reason why I have sins in this stuff is because. Sins were talked about in a really weird and particular way mm-hmm. in that arc, where to me, I think it was something like, it, they made it almost seem as if like sins could be like living things. I can't remember what it was, but it was just like some weird way in which they were speaking about the topic that was like really throwing me off. Mm-hmm. But I can't remember exactly what it was. Okay. Cause that's, I'm still like, like, like these weird things. The bear. The bear. This bear. Like, these things are freaky, man. Nice. Man really said there's a bear outside. Look at that. It's a big bear. Bigger than the one that was caught last time. 100 times bigger. Whoa. What do you... Th- do you have any th- any thoughts on uh, uh, H-A-A-S, um, Kaz's brother? Older brother? I I I I haven't. I, I really think he's still he's still vital to some degree. Be, beware of raw spoilers. What happened? What happened? Wait, where? Who's spoiling me? Stop. Luckily, I didn't. I, luckily, I didn't register it. If someone said it, I guess I'm good. But yeah, don't. I I am on Abyss Twelve, and I not. I'm not one of those people who like spoilers. I don't. I like to experience things fresh with no expectations so but all right you got any final words no Mm -hmm. okay okay oh okay i'll I'll just worry i don't know i got scared i was gonna run (laughs) about to run away before i got spoiled um okay okay i I guess the last thing i'll say is this and then i'll wrap it up um What, one moment of one moment of this series that I'm really interested in because like Anata has become this really important figure in many many ways, but what I'm interested in is like, do Lee's and Asha somehow have gotten a portion of his power and ability with the way that Asha was looking and that weird thing she did? In the fact that I guess the shedding of time possibly Anata in the room in the I think this was the weight of time arc. Remember remember that one panel we didn't really take yeah. in that that he was there like. I I I want I want to know what this collision course is really shaping up to be, and I'm very excited for it. And I want to actually ask you if you had a definitive favorite arc of the third season. You guys in the chat um answer this to me too. Did you do you guys have a favorite arc in the third season? I didn't think I was gonna like anything more than a weight of time, but the weight of time isn't my favorite season three arc anymore. It might be weight of time. Yeah, for you still. I think I like Anata a bit more. Honestly, and this arc I think is shaping up to be just as good. So I don't know. Just, just curious. The other time, the, st- uh, the other side of the story is really good too. I know it's like kind of like literally like it's, kind of the other. It's corner. hard, but you know because like all, like I don't like as far as I'm concerned because of the quality of all these arcs, there isn't a wrong answer. I'm mostly just wondering what your favorite is. It's really my. It's really what I'm asking. It's Stuff. hard because I reread the Nata and the other one, and I haven't reread the other. So like I feel like. Am I? It'd be unfair for me to choose. I don't know. Mm. Well, just what happened with running weight of time. I don't know. It's like I don't know. This is hard. I don't know. Okay. No, I, I, I and I, and I just want to. I, I, I'm just, I'm just thinking season three right now because my favorite yeah. arc in general. I don't think is probably from the third season. I think it's from the second one, but um, we should do one though. We should do one. I'm gonna have to like because oh, the only thing with with the only thing that's always been unfortunate about this series is because of its lack of popularity, especially like I'm gonna say like probably like North American places or English speaking places. Well, I've seen a lot of people who I've seen a lot of um 
francophone, like people who are <laughs> French, who um, who are into it. But we don't have a lot of stuff. <laughs> so like, I'm sure if I like look up a tier list, I'm not gonna find it. I'm gonna have to make a tier list. So. <laughs> Mm-hmm. There's, there's a lot of cool things that I want to do with this series, but like I know I have to like be. I don't have to be the the the, the creator of this of these of the god items for us. So, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, a wait of time, but not a top five ish. But there are so many good ones, bro. I'm gonna have to do a reread uh, later to avoid recency bias for that. But before wait of time started, but Crown and Punishment was my favorite. Can we consider the wait of time until Abyss one big arc? Like, I know what you mean. Because this story is so cohesive and connected and streamlined that we kind of just call it a different arc, but it's all connected. And it almost feels like, yeah, this is supposed to come right after another. It's like but, a saga. Yeah. So I hear, I hear what you're saying. Because it's almost like saying like... Saga. It's like the equivalent of like, oh, like, I guess if you want to call it like the Hell Train saga or like the Water 7 saga, but you specifically like Ennius lobbies. You know, like I get it. I hear what you're saying. Abyss and Anata are tied for me. Seeing Rao and uh, uh, Lisa's village are what I'm most interested in. That's fair. Crime and Punishment still sticks out for me with the Cali moment. I, f- I feel that. A recency bias may be showing here to bit. I'm not mad at that. Initial Brill stuff too. Um, Anata's arc's end was dope. Weight of Time. It's hard to pick. The development in the Weight of Time is great, but the reveals in Anata are so great. Is Anata with Anana and then that? Yes, I think so. Starts with Anana. The time travel saga, is just what I call it. Yeah, there you go. The time travel saga. There you go. That's that's a good name for it. It's 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 so good. It's it's great stuff. But I will be bringing back the um, especially with thing gone, we'll be bringing back weekly discussions. So you get your live reaction, and then like the 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 the, 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 the the video after will be a discussion video and stuff too. I think I might do it in the. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. The, nah, maybe I'll just do it weekly. I don't mind to do it, do it that way. But so stay tuned for that. So you guys be safe. Any final words for the miles or any, or any last questions? Any, anything? Anything? Anything else on that list that's interesting? Uh, nah. Everything else is for Nada. Okay. All right, guys. I'm off. I'm taking. I'm done for the weekend. You guys be safe. Thank you for coming through. Or chance. I think I think that last stream beat my ass. I'm tired. <laughs> oh, 100 <laughs> percent. I'm about to go get some food. Yeah, you guys be safe. Remember, Curry Gum keeps us safe. You to go. You're.